after lots and lots of sanding started with the big belt at 80 grit then I did this one to 60 I did that which is 120 then I did 800 and then this sponge is 1200 now it's like beautiful and then I'm going to put oil on it to make it even more beautiful Whoa. holy cow that's even more beautiful than I thought it was going to be together so they're going to be my four bottom supports feet I guess you call them so hopefully there's enough length in that to get four pieces it's going to be tight I think but the thing is too that the feet will have to be like this so that the I get the right height out of the leg because the leg's too short on its own. inside inside there so that the curve there is flush with the outside and so that that much will be mitered in it'll also be stuck to the other leg no need for you to watch me doing the whole lot because it's going to take a while and it's going to be mundane but I think you get the gist of it so I've got two legs roughed in so what I might do now is join them together in the middle there with dowels and then shape them as one
to check the height of the table inside again because to me this looks small but she wants it at 700 which is the same as the one inside and that is 17 I was worried about the size of these feet I thought it might be a bit short but I think when that's properly secured on there, that'll be fine. But then it's not up to me. And if she wants four legs on it, four proper legs, I can do that. But yeah, that'll do me for today. I just wanted to fit it up and see how it was. Maybe leave it sit like this till she comes home from the shops. I'm sniffling a bit. I don't have a cold. I don't have that other thing. The sniffles is, I was surfing this morning and every time I bend over, salt water drips out of my nose. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I'm allowed to brag on my own channel if I want to. Today was my 10th surfing lesson. And I was out the back with the big boys. I sort of caught three waves out the back. Um, really felt a difference with the power of the waves and whatnot. There was one in particular I thought I was going for a dive, but I went over the edge, real steep, and got away with it. Another thing is, uh, this surfing lark is the Veteran Surf Project. is actually a university type study where they're examining the benefits of surfing for veterans with PTSD etc. Yeah, today was my 10th lesson so I filled out some forms about how I was traveling mental health wise on day one and had to do a similar survey after 10 lessons so I did that today and uh, any additional comments you want to make at the end I said I've never come across anything that can change my mood for the better so quickly or so dramatically as surfing i um surfing started at nine o'clock today and i slept in till 20 past nine so it was just after 10 when i got there and i wasn't in the mood i didn't even want to take the uh, board out of the trailer but I thought I better so I took the board out and I dragged it down to and no, I carried it down to the beach and dragged myself into the water but two short breaks and I was grinning like a Cheshire cat and after about five or six shore breaks getting pushed by the instructor uh, he said he asked if I wanted to go out the back with the big boys so I did it my mood was way up here and you should have heard the hoops and hollerings out of me and the instructor it's great great atmosphere down there hooping and hollering and clapping for everybody and high fives and all this stuff yeah but my mood this morning was turned on its head 
in the blink of two waves. So if you get a chance to go surfing, get out in the water. And if you want to help out with the Veteran Surf Project, look them up on Facebook. Anyway, rabbiting on a bit. I'll leave this sitting here till Mrs. Contact comes home and gives me a tick of approval or otherwise. And So, that leg is unsuitable, it's too wobbly, I know it is, and the boss woman said it is, so, that's okay. Oh, I broke it, <laughs> well there you go. That proves the legs weren't adequate.